Choosing the right platform to launch and manage your online course and digital products can be tricky for a lot of creators. So in this video, I'm going to compare two really popular platforms, Voma and Kajabi, to help you decide which platform is better for your business. For your convenience, I've included the links to both platforms in the description of this video so you can check them out. Now, I'm going to compare these platforms across several different categories, including features, user interface, customization, integrations. Of course, I'm going to talk about the pricing, and I'm also going to talk about the reviews and what customers have to say about each of these platforms and a bunch of other stuff as well. So make sure you watch this all the way to the end, and let's get started with features and functionality. Start Starting with Voma. Now, Voma Pro is designed with simplicity in mind. It offers essential tools for course creation, such as video hosting, quizzes, and basic progress tracking. Its focus is on streamlined course creation, which makes it really good for beginners. Now, Kajabi, on the other hand, provides a comprehensive suite of tools, including advanced course creation options, membership sites, and even podcast hosting. Its robust marketing and automation features stand out, making it ideal for for users who want more comprehensive functionalities. Let's talk about user interface and experience. Both platforms have pretty intuitive interfaces, but Kajabi offers a more clean version of the platform that simplifies the management of extensive content libraries. Voma Pro's interface is straightforward without any frills, which can be appealing for people that want simplicity over style. Let's talk about customization capabilities, starting with Kajabi. Kajabi excels in customization allowing users to tailor almost every aspect of their courses and marketing emails. It offers a range of themes and extensive design options. Voma Pro provides more limited customization options, which focuses on basic branding, which could be enough for a smaller project or for people that are new to online course creation. But if you do want something more sophisticated, more advanced, then Kajabi will be the better choice for you. Now let's talk about integrations. Kajabi has a clear advantage with its ability to integrate with a wide array of tools, including Zapier, uh, MailChimp, Metapixel, ConvertKit. You can also integrate with other tools for analytics or sales and conversion like Stripe and PayPal, member experience platforms like Creator.io. So it really covers all the essential tools that you could possibly need for your online business. Voma Pro is also really good with integration. So you can see they've got different types of platforms. So if you look at uh, affiliates, for example, you can integrate with Rewardful and LinkMink for uh, marketing automation. You can integrate with Zapier, Deadline Funnel, Entreport. For email, you can integrate it with Active Campaign, Drip, ConvertKit, and Aweber, as well as uh, Stripe and PayPal. So lots of different options for integrations, although it might be a little bit less than the integrations that you get with Kajabi, but it's still pretty good for most users. Now let's talk about the pricing structure, starting with Voma Pro. So so as you can see, Voma Pro has a very simple pricing structure. They've just got one model, which is just the Pro. So you can pay monthly or yearly. If you pay monthly, it's about 120 bucks a month. If you pay yearly, then you get two months free, which comes out to about almost $100 a month. And with that, you get unlimited offers, bumps and upsells, subscriptions. You get one-on-one -on -one onboarding call and a bunch of other stuff as well. So this is a very simple pricing structure and you can see they actually compare it against Kajabi and other platforms as well to show you all the things that are included like you get bumps and upsells product library you get offers which is not included in Kajabi you have pricing options so you can sell products for a single payment subscription or include it as a bonus which you can't do with Kajabi uh, they have you know you can integrate it with Stripe Tax and ACH and SEPA they've got great stuff for conversions and delivery uh, as well as data tracking and analytics it's also out shining Kajabi as well. Now if we look at the pricing plans of Kajabi, which are more expensive, overall they do include more extensive features that do justify its price, especially for established businesses that can leverage the advanced marketing tools that you can use with Kajabi. So if you look at their basic plan, it starts at 120 bucks a month, it goes all the way up to the pro. Uh, and of course, if you bill annually, it's 20% cheaper compared to monthly. And you can see all the stuff that's included. You get a bunch of different funnels, you get different products. There's zero transaction fees. You can have 10,000 contacts, a thousand active customers, and a website. And pretty much everything goes up as you go up the plans all the way up to 100 pro 
products, 100 funnels and more. Now, if you do want an enterprise, if you have you know a much larger business and you have more spe uh, specialized needs, then you can contact sales and they can arrange something for you. Now let's talk about support and resources. Both platforms provide reliable customer support, but Kajabi offers a wider range of resources, including a comprehensive knowledge base, community forums, and regular webinars. And of course, if you need to connect with the community, you can click join now. And if you need to contact support, you can just click here and get in touch with them. Voma Pro also has some support, but it's not quite as good. They do have a resource library, so you can get some basic information about what to do. They've got documentation about how to get started, a bunch of other stuff here. But if you do need like a lot of detailed step-by-step -step help, it might not be the best for that. Although, you know, if you do buy their subscription, then they have a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call where a real person can help you migrate over to uh, Voma Pro from whichever platform you're currently using. So that can be really useful and you can email them if you have any additional questions. Now let's talk about the marketing tools that each platform offers, starting with Kajabi. So Kajabi stands out with its built-in CRM capabilities, allowing users to create sophisticated email marketing campaigns, funnels, and automations directly within the platform. This is not really something you can do with Voma. Voma sticks to basic marketing tools that are sufficient for just basic course sales and upsells. Now let's talk about analytics and reporting. Kajabi provides detailed analytics on course performance, student engagement, and financials. Voma offers basic analytics, which may require external tools if you want deeper insights. Now, if you want to scale your business to the moon, let's talk about which one is better for scalability. Kajabi was built to scale because it can support a large number of users and extensive content without any problems. Now, Voma Pro is also pretty good, but it is better for a smaller scale operation because it may face limitations as the user base and course offerings grow. Kajabi is clearly made for, you know, very serious creators who really want to make a lot of money. And it's been around for a long time. As you can see, uh, creators have earned over $6 billion with Kajabi. They've helped, you know, build over 100,000 businesses and they've served over 75 million customers. So Kajabi is definitely winning for scale. Let's talk about performance and reliability. Kajabi boasts excellent uptime and performance metrics, making it reliable even under a heavy load. Voma Pro also provides dependable performance, but it's not as robust as Kajabi during peak traffic. Now let's talk about e-commerce capabilities. Kajabi includes advanced e-commerce features such as multiple payment gateways and subscription models. Voma Pro offers basic e-commerce functionalities, which may be enough for people that are just trying to sell some simple courses online. Now let's talk about content hosting and management. So both platforms allow for easy content upload and management. Kajabi offers more flexibility in hosting different types of media. So this could be beneficial if you're trying to offer a variety of formats, like maybe you want to include videos with some PDFs and other digital products that you want to sell. Let's talk about community building tools. So Kajabi includes lots of tools to build and manage a community directly within the platforms, like forums and member directories. Voma Pro lacks these features, which could be a drawback if you're trying to create a community and get some engagement there. But let's talk about what customers of both Voma and Kajabi have to say. Let's take a look at their reviews on Trustpilot, starting with Kajabi. So as you can see, Kajabi is doing really well with customer reviews. They have uh, 1,841 reviews at the time I'm recording this video with an average of 4.4 rating, which is excellent. And they are a verified company. As you can see, the majority of their ratings are five star with some of them below that. And you know, re recent reviews as early as a day ago that are five stars. If we compare this to Voma AI, well, I couldn't even find uh, like a proper profile. They have zero reviews so not much to say here. Overall, I think Kajabi is better for most course creators, especially if you want to have a serious business that you want to scale. It's an all-in-one platform that's great for all the different features, scalability, and customization. So if you want to sell courses, Kajabi is going to help you. If you want to sell digital products like PDFs, Kajabi is going to help you out with that. If you want to set up all sorts of marketing analytics, you want to get detailed insights about what your customers are doing, how 
engaged they are. Kajabi is going to be the perfect platform for that as well. So I do think Kajabi is better for most people, but Boma Pro has its advantage with its ease of use. It's a simpler platform that doesn't have as much complexity. So if you just need very basic features for uh, selling your courses and just a basic checkout platform, then Voma Pro might be better for you. I've included the links to both Voma Pro and Kajabi in the description of this video so you can try them out and see which one you want to go with. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for watching.